Hey everybody, welcome to Jester's 3D Tabletop Gaming. Today, we're going to be changing the FEP on an Anycubic Photon S. My FEP had finally gotten to the point where there was enough little bumps and grooves in it that I felt it was time to change before maybe something disastrous happened. I can't imagine having a hole in my FEP and then suddenly a whole lot of resin all over my LCD screen. Not something I want, so we decided to change it. Let's walk you through it. All right, so we're gonna be starting the show off with some obviously nitrile gloves to keep your hands nice and safe from the uh, the droplets of resin that are going to be present on the FEP film once we release some of these screws. We're gonna use this bottle cap as a bit of a spacer to be able to give ourselves uh, some give a little bit further down the line. Next, as simple as removing these screws one step at a time. Here is our two FEP sheets that were included with the Anycubic Photon. A little bit of give there. And just release this build plate. And then from here, we're gonna flip this on over and we're just gonna remove the, the rest of these screws here. Let's just speed through that a little bit. You don't need to watch that. All right, so we've got that removed. As you can see here, we have the FEP film, the old one. You can, you can see all the droplets of resin that I was talking about, and a little bit of a scratch and scuffs and all kinds of bumps and grooves. We're gonna take some of our 70% isopropyl alcohol here and just give everything a nice good wipe down, get it all nice and clean. Just a good old dab, dab, dab. And then let's just clean this off real good. Get all that resin off of it and uh, just make it nice and spick and span, nice and clean and ready for the new FEP film and uh, that's going to be looking fantastic. Alrighty, so now that everything is pretty much clean, let's, uh, let's go back to these FEP films. Let's just open this bad boy up here. What do we got? This one actually came with two sheets. I was actually rather pleasantly surprised by that. So you're going to want to make sure with this FEP film that you remove the plastic cover. You want to take it off of both sides, don't forget. Let's just get that off. Ooh, perfect, beautiful. Alright, so we're going to place this down, making sure that these screw holes are in the proper direction. We're going to put down our bottle cap. All right, nice and good. So we're gonna take a nail, or anything sharp really, and just hold it into position, apply your pressure, poke your hole. Boop, pokey pokey. All right, hole completed. We're gonna grab one of our screws and just get that uh, nice and uh, nice and tight. All right, just got, yep, yeah, gotta grab that. Thank goodness for magnetic screwdrivers. Okay, so now that we've got the first screw in, we're gonna wanna go kitty corner or opposite corner and just keep alternating the directions for where we are putting these screws into position. So I'm gonna go into the opposite corner here, poke my hole and put in my screw. And then really we're just going to rinse and repeat the entire process. Making sure to hold everything down nice and tight. And then let's just whiz through and get the rest of these done. Poking, prodding, screwing, and rinsing and repeating the process for the boatload of screws that are present here. All right, that should be the last one there. Perfect. Let's remove the bottle cap. Wink. And get in the tray. So then we're just going to make sure it's facing the right direction, wanting the screw indentations to be facing towards you. You're gonna uh, need to apply a little bit of pressure here to be able to get it into position. Just downward force. Use my muscles, the muscles. Okay, so we should be looking pretty good. 
Next up, I find that you're really gonna need these screws to be able to pull it in the rest of the way that you need. So we're going to pierce the hole. My recommendation here is because it's a bigger screw, make a bigger hole, and then that way you're not fighting to get the screw through the felt FEP film, as I was there. <laughs> All right, so once you get that in there, you're just gonna wanna rinse and repeat. Same thing, cutting into the opposite corner and just alternating where you're putting in each of these screws. Once again, poke the nail hole. I learned my lesson here, a little bit bigger. Following that up with the screw. Perfect. And we're just gonna whiz through doing the rest of these here. Nice and quick. If only I could actually screw screws in this quickly. Life would be pleasant. Thank goodness for increasing the speed of things. Very nice. By the way, I hope you're all having a lovely day. Perfect. And you just want to make sure that it's below the blue portion so that it's not sticking out above it. Next, we're going to set it up onto its side and just give it a nice light tap with uh, something plastic. You don't want to pierce it. I used the Spectroid app to be able to find out the hertz that I was looking for. I've heard that the range between 275 and 350 is kind of the range that you're going for, but I also have read that 300 to 350 is a little bit more desirable. So next up, you're just going to keep tightening it to reach the desired frequency that you're looking for. I went for roughly the 320 hertz. So now that I've achieved that, I'm essentially completed tuning my FEP. I'm just going to remove the outer rim of plastic from the, the build plate itself. One is, once that is done, I am just going to get that out of there. Perfect. Don't forget, cover up your blades, keep them safe. And I'm finally going to finish everything off with a, another cleaning of isopropyl alcohol just to make sure that the FET film is ready to be put directly onto the printer. After this stage, I did not set it down. I brought it directly to the printer just to make sure that dust and other things did not manage to gather onto the FET film in the process. Perfect. All nice and squeaky clean. So there you have it. That's how to change your FET. Hi, it's me. All right, there you go, that's it. That's all there is to it, to change the FEP. It's really not that bad, it's not scary, it's something that could be easily tackled. Just get yourself the right app and then uh, track down the right hertz to get that proper frequency and you're gonna have yourself a nice good tuned FEP, which is just glorious. Anyhow, I had a good time, I hope you had a good time, and until the next time, eh, bye bye now. Ooh, but wait, I've got some more videos in the tops of the corners, won't you click them please and maybe check out more of my content if you like it.